going on guys welcome back as you see we just gave this thing a much needed bath as you saw in the previous video this thing was filthy she was dirty so we just gave her a nice little wash now we're going to end up drying this off first we'll get it on the lift and then we'll start doing some disassembly All right, we got the bike on the lift. As you know, the battery was bad, so we're actually gonna use a tester on it. Here's the battery that was originally in the bike when I bought it. As you can see, we had the charger hooked up, to, so it is fully charged. We'll do a load test on it, and we'll probably confirm that the battery is bad. So where we're gonna be using the test battery is a Sentec battery tester, load tester, whatever you wanna call it. So we'll hook it up and see what it does. All right, battery is hooked up. You can see after taking it off from the charger that you have, you know, a little over 12 volts. I'm gonna put a load test on her and see how she does. Yeah, see that's pretty bad. It's just, it's right to hit, about to hit the bad mark. So this battery does need to be replaced. Yeah, it's fucking shot. So not a big deal. Yeah, so these testers are pretty decent. They do a bunch of different things. We can always do a separate video on that. But yeah, it's a good little unit. This is an older version. They do have an updated version, but this thing still works great. So glad I got it. It takes the guesswork out if you're not sure if your battery is good or not. All right, so now that we figured out the battery's bad, we're gonna end up checking out the seats. I can tell right off the rip that these are not the OEM seats, but that's not a bad thing because you can, as you can see, aftermarket has come a long way. So that is a good thing. So we'll take these off. Usually there is two Allen key bolts in there on this side and the other side. But since I already took out the bolts, let's see it will just come off. All right, so we'll put this over here and we will take off the rear seat as well. Key in, turn. All right, we got that off, and this is aftermarket as well, but the fit was pretty good, so that is a good thing. All right. All right, so back to the bike. Here's the battery from my good 5JJ, my 2001 model, and I'm just going to charge this up a little bit because, like I said, it's been sitting. You can see we have our 5JJ label right there. Tray seems to be in good shape. I don't see any broken tabs on the fairings by that bolt. Sometimes you'll see breakage over there, but this looks clean. And let's see, electronics seem to be all what they should be. And they just need a little bit of cleaning, which is not a bad thing at all. So I think we're gonna first start there's so much stuff I want to do. I do want to take the tank off, check out the air filter, empty the gas tank, get the rust out of there. There's definitely some stuff that I plan on want to do. But I think for some motivation, I might just end up cleaning this up first and really seeing how good I could get this fairing to look. I mean, like I said, there are scratches on it and it's not bad, but you know, you could see these scratches. So I think we can make those disappear, which would be pretty good. So the bike does have an OEM tail on it, but obviously it's been cut, as you can see, right over there. It's a shame because you don't see too many of these with the OEM big fenders. Yes, they don't look good anymore, I get it. Some people, they're like, oh, it's, you know, the signals are so outdated. Yes, they're old, but it just shows you how classic the bike is. So under tray was cut decently. Even the stock reflectors, you gotta love that, right? So the tray was cut not too bad. Someone actually did a decent job. I will end up smoothing this out just a tiny bit just to make it look good. You know, there's some minor scratches on here. Actually some pretty decent ones. So we're gonna try to get color back into this thing and try to get rid of the scratches. We'll see what we can do. Like I said, yeah, you could just see those scratches and in person, the scratches are 
a little bit worse. Depends on how you look at it. You can see some pain interfections, but we're going to clean that up. And tank looks decent. Like I said, we got our dents that we will try to pop out. If we can't get it out, then it's not the biggest deal, but we're going to try to get that out and we'll polish up this tank. This thing's going to look like brand freaking new. So we do have some stuff planned. I'm going to end up taking this off actually just because it's halfway on there. It's really not on there good. So that's going to be taken off and cleaned up. Choke seems to function properly for the most part. Cable seems okay. Controls just need to get cleaned up. Buttons are all functional. I've even seen bikes that were missing this little piece right here, surprisingly. Horn button seems fine. I didn't test the horn. That's something I need to do, but considering everything else works, I'm sure it does. As you can see on the levers, it's showing its age. So we will clean these up and these will look brand new and along with the SRAM as well. So we will get this all cleaned up. I'm actually gonna try to find the sticker that's supposed to be on here. I don't know if I can find it, but if I can, that'll be great. But either way, this should clean up perfect. So those are some of the things right off the rip that we're gonna do. Obviously a lot of cleaning. A lot of polishing and they get this paint looking mint not that it looks too bad now but like i said up close you got the scratches so we're going to smooth all this out it is perfect fitment with the oem windscreen as it should be yeah so overall guys not a bad little project bike it doesn't need a lot but we will give it some love we're going to first start on the tail we're going to give you some up close shots so you can kind of see how it looks and hopefully we can get it to come out in a much better shape than it currently is now. So we'll get some good shots of it so you guys can see it. Like I said, we're probably not going to get it perfect, but we are going to try to shine these things up. And I think they will come out pretty good. Side is not too bad. But like I said, you can see there's it needs to be cleaned and it just needs some loving. It's a pretty big scratch going across there. Not too deep, but there is some scratches that are a little deeper than others. So we may not be able to get that out, but we'll see how it comes out. All right, so the first thing we're gonna use on this is some Honda spray cleaner and polish. I love this stuff. This thing is great for cleaning bikes and it actually works really good. So let's start spraying some of this on here and see how it comes out. So we let the cleaner sit for like 10 minutes just to get it to soak in there. It's probably not needed, but I did it anyway. So we'll get the microfiber towel now and it will clean this puppy up. See how she comes up. As you can see it definitely brings out the deepness of the color and it looks a lot better obviously but sc1 after this should clean it up really good some of this stuff i think i'm gonna have to use like yeah like some of that stuff that you can see right there i'm gonna have to use compound on it and see if it gets it rid of it but other than that so far just from the cleaner looks 10 times better the first thing I want to focus on is this little section of the tail right here. We're going to try using some compound on it, see if we can get rid of the stuff like that and some of the other scratches you can see. So the stuff we're going to be using is some Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. Let's see how it comes out. All right, we got our Meguiar's. We shook it up. We're going to put some on a rag and rub it in there. Decent amount we're going to put on there. Oop. That 
Now we're just going to go in circle motions. We're going to be careful of the decal because obviously we don't want to screw that up. So we'll try to avoid that, but we will get around the sides of it. So I'm going to work this in for a bit. And then what you really should use is a small buffer of some sort. But since we don't have that, we're just going to use a mother's power ball that's on a drill. All right, so now since we got some on there, let me get the mother's power ball and we'll put some on here just because this is kind of, it's been sitting in the garage, hasn't been used. So it's kind of rough right now. And now we'll work the compound into the plastic. When you're doing this, you want to make sure that you keep moving a continuous motion. You can go a little bit slow. Don't go too slow though, and don't do too much pressure because it could burn it out. compound and the polish on here and I finished it off with some SC1 high gloss coating this stuff works great and it makes it look wonderful so just look at that tailpiece guys look at how nice that looks it looks like it's freaking brand new unbelievable right so it just goes to show that you can get the fairings looking in really good shape but you do have to put some work into it all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the rest of this fairing like so let's get some close-ups of all these marks on here and paint imperfections so we could see how it comes out. As you can see, there's all the scratches over here. Hopefully all these will basically be gone. We'll get some more parts over here. But like I said, just look at how good that tail came out. That one piece, I'm gonna do the rest of it. A little bit of residue over, a little bit of overspray on the SC1. So like I said, we'll clean that up, but. Yeah, it's gonna come out so good. I don't know how good this is gonna come out because you know I can feel it with my finger. So this would probably require some, you know, some sanding and some actual paint. But we'll see how it comes out. All right, so I'm gonna finish up the tail and then show you guys how it looks. All right, so we finished the tail for now. There will be some small spots that we need to use some touch-up paint on. But other than that, it looks fucking great. It looks really good. You see we got rid of all those deep scratches that were over on this side. You can still see that one a tiny bit, but it's only at a certain angle you can really see it. Other than that, most of them are gone, and the fairing is extremely shiny, and it's really smooth right now, so it looks good. So next thing I want to do is we're going to work on the levers. As you can see, these things are just, like I said, they're showing its age, and uh, but they should clean up really good. Should look like brand new when it's done. So I'm going to start using steel wool and the window cleaner. So since the lever came out pretty good, we're going to use some mother's polish on it and really get this thing to basically a mirror finish for the most part. So we'll start on that now. All right, so we just finished this lever. We didn't spend too long on it. We just used the mother's power ball, gave it a couple minutes of polish. And as you can see, it's basically chrome now for the most part. It looks way better than it did. Like, look at this one, right? So you got that one that looks awesome. Then you got the, the dull one right there that hasn't been cleaned yet. Pretty big difference from there to there. So this is going to look very nice on the bike, especially when we start cleaning up the control area. And it's all shining really nice. It's going to look beautiful.
So since the tail is basically done, and now that the levers are in a good spot, we're going to end it for this video. The next episode, we're going to go into the tank, start doing some things in there. We'll check the air box, the filter, and we'll keep digging. I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned, and we're going to keep digging into this bike.